Darren Hooker, have you been making your Legends Day debut today? Yeah, I played in the game a few years ago, but this is the first proper Legends Day I've been to, so looking forward to it. And what are your fondest memories of your brilliant time with the Sky Blues uh, in the Premier League? I don't think there was just one. I think you know, the biggest thing I remember is playing against, against the best teams in the country and you know, often not getting decent results. So, you know, managers beat Man United, Spurs, Chelsea. You know, it's, it's, it's just a great time for the club. I think people will look back at it and remember it as a great time. Absolutely, yeah. And was your, is it fair to say, your best goal or best moment was that 3 2 win over Man United at Highfield Road? Uh, people seem to remember that. That's one that always gets uh, pushed out. But you know, I scored a great goal away at Liverpool a couple of days later. You know, I, I think the, the old time is, is a great time for me. You know, playing against the best defenses in the in the, in the world yeah. and you know, like causing chaos. So you know, my time with Dion and Norwegian was brilliant. I was going to ask you, who's who's the best player you played with during your time at Coventry? I would say it was a toss-up. Well, it's probably with, from three really. As midfielder, Gary Mack was incredible. Obviously, Dion Dublin was Dion Dublin, and Roman Nielsen was one of the best right backs I've ever seen. So, you know, one of them three, I guess. There were some great players there, weren't there, during that period? Yeah, obviously Noel Whelan, uh, Transolvate was a great player. Uh, Shazza, Paul Williams, David Burris. You know, you forget that what a good player he was over, over the years. Marcus Hall. You know, just you know, looking back now, you don't really appreciate until it's gone how good them players were and you know, look at how it's been the last few seasons at Coventry you know, you'd, you'd have that, every single one of them players back mm -hmm. I mean things are picking up on the pitch but can you believe that you know 18 years on from the Premier League days that how low Coventry have sunk and how long they've been down no it's it's, it's, it's difficult really you know having that long run in the Premier League and then it kind of going from bad to worse and then really bad but like I say the Look like they've turned the corner a little bit. Obviously, going up last season helped, but I think until they got the the CCU the organisation, either putting money in or get them out, you're going to have the same problems because nobody, nobody, nobody knows what's really going on. So, it must be a real difficult time for a commentary fan.